and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147, and my Dreamers Designs painting is done. Uh, so it is time to put away all the diamonds. I will show you the painting as well. It looks absolutely stunning, um, and I'm really, really happy with how it's turned out. So, first things first, I have, was it just two ABs? I think it may have just been two A, no, three, potentially more. Um, I popped these into an order that made sense for me while doing the diamond painting, but in turn, they are not in DMC order for putting it away. So first things first, I'm going to take all of them out and get them into DMC order. Or at least try and get them roughly into DMC order. That's a 900. The 3000s I just grouped together. That's like the second lot of sorting out for me. Uh, 400s. Sevens, three, no, that's a seven. I can't work out my numbers today. Quite a few of these higher numbers. Nine hundreds, let's start a second row. Three hundred, nine hundred. So I have got three ABs. I did actually my semi preparation for this video was to go on the hunt for a conversion chart for Dreamers Designs AB Diamonds to DMC. Um, and thankfully, I just searched Dreamers Designs in um, my Facebook group, and there it was. Amazing lady had posted it. Uh, and I can't remember who it was now because I'm organised but not that much. <laughs> uh, so I've completely forgotten who it was. But if you're in our Facebook group, if you just search Dreamer Designs, that's all I popped into the search box. And I think it came up as like the second or third post on there. And a lovely lady had put a screenshot. I want to say it was Sherry. Um but it might not have been. Um, yeah, so I popped that up and second post she had a Excel spreadsheet where she had the Dreamers designs and she popped that up. So I have saved that to my phone for the purposes of deep kitting this kit. Right, got all the diamonds, just trying to get the last of the fluff bits out of the bottom of the case because I like my storage to go away clean because then that's nicer when things come back out again. Um, it's much nicer to start a new fresh painting with a nice clean case. So first things first, this is a square painting. So I am just gonna check quickly through my heaven and earth design colors to see if there is anything that is in there that I need. Um, 3072, oh, that'd be over here. 3799 and 3865, no. So there isn't any colors for my heaven and earth design. I'm not gonna bother checking this because I do know that I have enough for my heaven and earth, my big massive heaven and earth designs now. So they can just go into my normal storage. Let's just take that out of the equation. I'm just checking for my mini version, which is a black and white image made up of black, whites and greys. So it's not surprising that there's not many in here. So we'll start with the 200s. So we have 209. Now these are bigger pots. So I will say there wasn't an absolute load of diamonds left. However, I didn't feel like I was running out at any point. And these are really big pots. So they can be quite confusing 
on how you know on how you view the leftovers and there is actually more than what you think because this is the larger pot larger bottle pot bottle pots there we go english english comes to me eventually um so yeah i've been more than happy with the amount of diamonds really happy with the finished image in fact what i did yesterday was i went on a little peruse of the dreamer designs website because i have I did do a video on how disappointed I was with the initial canvas I got, though the customer service team did fix it and did send me a replacement. The replacement canvas was not wow, but it was workable. Um, there was only really probably two symbols that were really hard to read, whereas on the previous canvas there was about six or seven. And the ones that were hard to read on the previous canvas were very close to each other. Um, whereas I could work out which one was which on this canvas. Um, so the canvas was better. So I do think it is only fair to get another one and give Dreamers Design canvases another go. Um, especially after you know sharing my experience of how I didn't like it now I pay I have let's say I've purchased two because they did have a Black Friday deal um, where if you bought one you got a second one that was 60% uh, off so I did decide to buy two I did purchase them with my own money uh, they do actually have I think a uh, I think I saw something on their website about you can email us to be a partner, blah, blah, blah. But I don't tend to approach companies for items for videos. Um, companies tend to approach me and that's the way I prefer to work. I quite often actually like to go and try out a company from the full customer experience. And I quite often will go and buy um, a diamond painting and sometimes that will then lead to a potential partnership sometimes it doesn't but that's fine with me um so yeah dreamers designs i have purchased two it will probably be i don't think that they will arrive before i start the advent on december 1st so it may be that i don't do an unboxing on them until january um yeah just due to them coming from the states to me i think it said seven days so it's very very borderline as to whether they will arrive by the first and i already have um a video plan in place for next week um so the 30th for example 30th yeah 30th of november will be my logbook update so i can't even really bump that to give it to dreamers designs unboxing so i'll be unboxing them in just january or maybe at the end of december um because i will film the unboxing at some point in december so maybe it'll come after the advent and i will box that up right this is a new color a new colour for my spare storage. That bag was empty. So I'm going to keep hold of that and I can update my logbook in a bit. Um, so yeah, I've done two images. I must say, um, browsing through the, the site and all the images that they had, um, Anne-Marie Bonn or Bone, not sure whether it's Anne-Marie Bone or Anne-Marie Bonn, um, her images stood out to me every single time. There was There's some gorgeous images on there, but when I'm scrolling through and I'm going, oh, I like that one, and I had a look at the um, 
artist. It was Anne Marie Brown. So I do have one of hers coming. It's actually in a round. I've gone for a round ones for a change. Well, I went for images that I liked and then it actually worked out that they were round paintings rather than square. And I thought, you know what? That's fine. I don't have a problem with them being round. Um, while I generally prefer square, I'm also happy to do round. And a large one in a round can sometimes be a bit quicker to do as well. Um, so, yeah. So, I've ordered two. One is Anne-Marie Bone. The other one is not. Uh, it's a different artist. The image just really caught my eye. And having a second one for 60% off kind of felt a little bit rude not to take advantage of the Black Friday offer um, so I will be having a very very close look at the canvases when I unbox them as it is still winter here and it is still a matter of night time with the light pad I will be doing the initial unboxing then I will pause the video I will go and look at the canvases on my light pad um, and I will report back in the same video for you guys. But I will be taking a very close look at the symbols to see if there are any that are potentially going to cause a problem. Because sometimes in daytime, they're perfectly fine. But as soon as you go for light pad and you know we have a pretty strong overhead light it's not it's not like i'm working by lamp light um, it is a strong overhead light that we have um, but it can be really really hard to see the symbols so or it was on my other one i have been told that they've done improvements and i really truly hope that the canvases i get reflect that and show that um, but yeah, so stay tuned for that coming in December. I have got more Dreamer Design canvases on its way. Not that my stash needs any more at all, because I have, frankly, plenty of paintings in my stash, especially in my large painting stash. But I think it's only fair. It's only fair to try the company again and see if feedback from previous canvases has been taken on board and that whether things have improved and to report whether they have because they have some absolutely gorgeous images on their website. Um, took a while that little bit of browsing shopping uh, and there's definitely more premium companies coming up um more premium companies are you know coming into the diamond painting world should we say um as time goes on i'm finding more and more of them uh, albeit based in primarily in different countries which is quite nice. So stay tuned for, there's definitely at least one new company that will be coming at some point. Um, some unboxings on this channel or on my second channel. So do make sure that you are subscribed to that. I did already have them. I was trying to work out if I already had that colour diamond or not. And then I've just noticed that it is a very, very slight hint have a colour change, which means I did have it before. That'll teach me to talk at the same time, won't it? Um, but yeah, this was a very confetti heavy painting. And I'm not against those. It was really, really nice. And then I've gone to one that's not as confetti heavy in any means. And it's, it's really nice to sort of flip from one to the other. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. The diamond quality was nice. The fit of the diamonds together on the square canvas was really nice. 
just that canvas symbol clarity issue, which I'm hoping will be all solved um, and all fixed. And the reports are that it is. So there are people that have canvases that are newer than mine and they do say that they're better, which will be good because it will be nice to have another company to potentially browse if and when I get through my existing stash. Um, it will be nice to have another company to be able to add some more. Okay, seven. This box is going to take a bashing. Look at this. I've got two rows of 900s here to pop away as well. These stickers are coming off really nice. Um, it does have an occasion where some of the residue sticks on the lid, um, but by dabbing the sticker, it pulls it up and it pulls it all up. So I'm not even at the moment because you know how things change. At the moment, I'm not even going to need a Goo Gone to go over the tops of these bottles when I'm finished, which is kind of nice. We've got one there. That's another one that needs to go in my log book. And we'll see whether they are brand new colours to me or colours that have been in my heaven and earth designs and are now in my spares as well. Okay, 783. This 700s has got no more room to go. So I try and make sure I give it a shuffle before I have to think about splitting up the tub. Because that is a heck of a lot of diamonds. Okay, 700, done, 800s. I am trying to put them in like the order, the correct order if I can. Just makes it easier when flipping through. I think the 900s are gonna be especially fun. And then I do get to put my ABs away. So we will see whether they are ABs that I've already had in previous AB paintings, if they're popular AB colours or not, because you can get, I'm pretty sure you can get it in every, you can get ABs in every DMC number, but there does tend to be a few firm favourites that companies tend to sway towards using. So we'll see if it's the same as others. 814, that one, I am sure I've had this. This is, this is one of the colours from my Heaven and Earth design, I'm sure of it. But I'll be updating my logbook to say that I have some in my box. So we'll pop that there. It's quite helpful with it when it's stickers that I can move about because that then allows me to keep them in order and makes it much easier when updating my logbook. 815, I don't have many either. Uh, but for anybody new here, I am de-kitting a kit, which I do for every diamond painting kit I finish. And I am keeping my spares in my spares box. And of course, I had some adhesive that decided to stick. But if I rub my finger over it, it comes off really easily. Like I don't need Goo Gone Easy, and that could be these tubs. Or it could be the stickers. Um, yeah, I keep all my spare diamonds. There's a couple of different things that I use them for. Uh, I am doing two Heaven and Earth design projects which is a cross stitch pattern that I am doing on a blank diamond painting canvas and I'm using my spare diamonds for that. So that is one. The second that I keep them for, and probably the primary reason, 
I started doing the heaven and earth design just to help use some of the ones that I had. Oh, I've only just realised I actually had a blank piece of cardstock. I was wondering why I had two so close together. I have a blank piece there. Let's pop that away. Um, is in case I ever have a diamond painting that I do not get enough diamonds for. So if I ever run out. Now you can contact the manufacturer and quite often they will send you replacement diamonds. I have a couple of problems with that. One is I'm impatient and I'm not going to realise that I have run out until I get right to the end of the diamond painting, which means I've nearly finished, which means I don't want to wait for diamonds to come from the other side of the world so that I can finish my diamond painting. I want to finish it now. Um, by having my spare diamonds, it allows me to do that. That's my primary reason. The other reason is some of my diamond paintings have been in my stash for a good couple of years. This one has been in my stash for a couple of years. And while I know that Dreamer Designs would have sent me replacement diamonds if I was short, it's been two years. Like, I feel weird asking a company to send me diamonds whether it's it's their error or not two years after a purchase it just doesn't seem right to me um to be phoning up you know phoning or emailing sorry to say i have a problem with my order that i got off you two years ago it just doesn't sit right with me so I much prefer to just dip into my spares because as I say as much as the company especially the big companies or the the higher end companies should I say as much as they will fix it I just I just I just can't do it I just can't do it um yeah I just go into my stash and then that helps deal with the impatience thing as well and gets it sorted and I get to finish my painting and I get to move on to my next one. So in relation to my large painting, I do currently have I Choose You from Diamond Art Studio UK. That is currently my large painting on the go because it is coming into Advent season in a week so excited uh, because it is coming up to advent season or our december advent i am not going to kit up a second large one now because i think it will take me a while to get through i choose you plus i have the advent i have a mystery painting if i need to fall you know if for any weird reason i get all of i choose you done i still have my mystery painting to do there's no way I'm going to get that done before the advent starts. I have one paint gem mini set already kitted up and I am going to kit up a second one. So I have all those things that I can be doing if I get extra time to diamond paint while advent's on. I could also potentially do the square advent alongside the round so that I could have that to do as well if I wanted to. And yeah, being practical, there is just no reason for me to kit up another large painting this year. Feels weird to say this year. I was gonna say <laughs> in this next month, but actually no, I won't be kitting up another large painting this year. I also um, fly to Australia to visit family uh, myself and one daughter is going and she's actually staying for a year um, so I am away for well we fly out Christmas day so I'm out I'm away for a couple of weeks then which means I'm not taking a large painting with me um, I, I may take a small one I may take my mystery 
but I have also picked up some diamond paintings from Kaza. Somebody in the group kindly posted that Kaza had an offer. It was a while ago, so check out if they've got any Black Friday ones. Uh, but they had 50% off, I think it was, off their own design, diamond, own design items. And that included their diamond paintings. And I was itching to try a few of their designs. So I bought some and I got them posted to my mum and dad's. So my dad has them stashed safely for me. So if I really want to do a diamond painting and I take my paint gem minis and I want to do something bigger, then I have those Kaza ones at their house that I can do. So yeah, I have, I have plenty of diamond paintings to keep me going until January. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll do the decision wheel It'll actually get, oh, it'll be updated then. It will be updated with all the ones that I have unboxed and will be updating on the 30th of November for my December logbook update. It will have all of those paintings. And depending on timing, because I'm not sure when I can get the January logbook video done, it may or may not have any that I've unboxed in December. And that is purely video schedule, me being able to get it done with all the correct info in it, whether I will be able to get that done before I fly out. And therefore, when I get back, yeah, I, I don't know exactly, but it's going to have loads more paintings in it. Loads more paintings to choose from, probably far too many. Uh, because I do add to my logbook according to my video schedule rather than according to when they arrive. And that is just so that anything I add to my logbook, when I do my update, you guys will have been able to see the unboxing of it. It will make sense to you <laughs> in my YouTube timeline of events. Um, but yeah, I've got quite a few new additions from Diamond Art Studio. Uh, I will have some soon from a new premium company with licensed artists. And yeah, I'm quite excited. I actually need to add um, the December advent to my logbook for November. Maybe I should have added it last month, but it just didn't enter my head. I can't remember if it had been up for sale by then or not. It was a bit of a whirlwind that month. Um, but I will be putting that into my logbook this next month. Okay, 939, I'm definitely not going to fit those in. So I'll put those in my other box in a moment. But let's do the rest of the 900s first. Anybody want to play 10 pin bowling? Anybody? Bowling for anybody? Right, this, I'm pretty sure I've just added this one in. And my brain's forgot because I'm too busy knocking all the pots over. So I'm going to put it in my list for my logbook because if it's already been ticked off, what's the harm? But I, I, I'm pretty sure that was empty. Okay, 954. This one's low, but not empty. And my sticker is actually on the wrong side of the bag. These thick bags do have a little, one, one of these pieces is a little bit shorter to help you grab hold of it. And every now and then I have been putting them on the wrong side of the bag. So let's fix that. Once these 900s are done, I've not got many pots to empty. It's just getting to the bottom of the 900s. It's just so many of them. Right, here's another new to my spares box. Oh, and I can't wait to show you the actual painting either. It is so nice. 
and say I have picked another painting by the same artist. It's the one that spoke to me. It kept jumping out at the screen to me and I'm scrolling through like the website all their artists and every single time her paintings caught my eye. I don't know if it is just the colour because quite often there is you know some vibrant colours in there which can really really pop and there is even indeed in this there is some in with the flowers and stuff or whether it's just the way the trees looked I'm not sure but they just kept calling to me and rather than pick one you know that I thought was busier than another or I just I just called the one that spoke to me the most I just decided it's, it's happening if I'm ordering I'm having the one that speaks to me and I'm really quite excited to see what their canvases are like and I really hope they're not as thick because as nice as a thick canvas is when actually working on it which is the the part that we do for the enjoyment it was harder okay 995 right near the end squeeze those diamonds in and then 996 they're the ones that are quite often used for AB diamonds as well, 995 and 996. Okay, another box done. And I'm definitely having more of this adhesive stick on these than I have on any other. But it's coming off. And it's coming off nice, as I say, I don't have any sticky residue that I need glue gum for. But I do need my overflow box for this 939. So, 900s. I already have two bags, in fact, for 939. These are the diamonds that I look in if anybody is shouting up on Facebook from the UK that they need any diamonds this is the box I go to I limit myself in my spare storage now to just one bag of extras if they're not needed for a project I have one bag of extras and everything else is fair game because frankly if a painting is missing more than one full bag of diamonds I would have expected to have noticed a lot quicker, i.e. when I'm kitting it up. <clears throat> okay, three thousands. I only have four. So let's just bob those in order. So we have 3607. Pop that in. That's one of the colours that sort of pops out on this painting as well, the hot pink. The likes of hot pinks, vivid greens, vivid purples, they just pop out of the paintings and really draw me in, <laughs> draw me into her artwork every time. Okay, three, seven, five, six. Another quite popular colour, got quite a few different shades of that one. Quite a few different shades, but if I find I'm ever missing that diamond from a painting, I can tip all or most of those diamonds out into a tray and pick the closest match. And the closest match is the one that I will use to replace the missing ones. I'm just gonna clear off my labels for a moment, getting a bit of a stock up there. Right, 3760. And I get to do my ABs. I like putting my ABs away because they hang up pretty on the side for me to look at. Okay, 3760 and 
last for the standard diamonds but by no means least it's 3837 which is a purple and there we go get rid of the sticky bits And that's my spares put away. I've got a lot more room in this box than I have in the other one. So I may have to do a reshuffle on my squares soon. Give them all a little bit more breathing room. Right, so for my AB diamonds, just before I update my logbook and show you the canvas. For my AB diamonds, I have my square ones on a book ring with these hologram packs. I do have a blank one here but that's because I used it all up doing um, some paint gem minis with it added on. But let's get the conversion and see what these equal in DMC colours. Okay so here is the Dreamer Designs list that the very kind person put on Facebook. So AB08 is 3865, which is the off-white. Do I actually have a 3865 on here, or does everybody else say that it's 5200? Everybody else says that it's 5200, which I agree, it is 3865, it's an off-white, but that is actually the same colour. So I think rather than mess about, I am just going to pop them together. Basically, the AB should be a pure white on the back if it's 5200, whereas these are potentially from a Diamond Art Club, I think, and theirs is more of a 3865. There is no colour difference in those whatsoever, so I'm just going to put them together for the sake of I would use these on a painting to replace either 3865 or 5200 because you can get away with it not being an exact match with an AB. Because you're adding that extra sparkle. Okay, AB37 is DMC165, and these are in colour order rather than number order. So I'm just going to check. I don't think I have 165. In fact, one, oh yeah, 165 is one. Okay, I don't have a 165, so where did I put, this is where it gets fun, oh no, found them, it's not that bad, found my stickers that I use for my bags, I have extra bags, so let's get out my square DMC stickers, these are from our shop. But these tell me um, the DMC numbers. So I'm going for DMC 165, and that's their AB 37. And I'm going to pop those in there. And I will need to update my logbook with this, so I'm going to keep that out for the moment. bit like how I keep hold of the stickers to update my logbook. I'm going to do the same with the pack. I try not to trash the ones that I've got. And then AB38 is DMC704. I thought I had a load of green ABs. Maybe I don't. Oh, I have 701. Maybe I have it in round. That's what I'm thinking of. Okay, that's fine. I don't have it there, but I do have more bags. So, got the bag and book rings. And I want 704, which is also on here. And amazing for the person who did recommend putting the labels on the bottom of the bag. Not the top of the bag, where I first put them. 
bottom of the bag is a lot easier to see. That's why it's the small thing. Before my battery rudely cut me off. It is this often the small things that are absolute genius. That are the best ideas. Okay. So let's try and get organised with this so I can get the canvas out. But my pots are all clear. My case is all empty. I've taken all the fluff out the bottom. So that one is good to go back on the shelf. Logbook needs updating with those. But I am done with the stickers. And I'm done with my phone. So let's update my logbook. I don't think it's this one. Is it this one? No, that's purely my stash. I now have have moved into two pouches for my log books because they're getting full, full of stuff. Um, so this is the log book that has my spare diamonds and my completed over like the past year-ish. So let's start with the spares. So my first one is 472. That one is actually one that was in my heaven and earth design because I have a little H there in pencil. So I'm just going to rub out the little H and in fact that rubber is awful. That's the one I normally use. That one's much nicer. So rub out the little H and put a tick. So that's done. Five two two. That is a brand new colour to me. 522. It's not in my heaven and earth designs and I didn't have it before. I didn't have it in round either. Uh, 781. 781. I have it in rounds. I never had it in squares. So that's two brand new colours to me. 814. I'm pretty sure that was a heaven and earth designs. Yes, it was. So... 814, I now have in my spares, uh, 911 was in my heaven and earth designs, this is where, this is where most of my empty squares come from, that they went in my heaven and earth designs, uh, 912, that's actually the same, I didn't quite see the number, underneath so 912 I also now have 946 was in and I've now got it in my spares and 955 is the same so that large painting did net me two brand new brand new to me DMC colours that I've not had in square over the last four or five years. Pretty good going, I think. And then for my ABs, so that's square and round rhinestone. These are my ABs. So 704 is down here in square. I now have and 165 in square. There we go. So I've got two new DMC numbers and two new ABs. Have I got yellows in here? Okay, so my green needs to go here because I say I've done this more by colour than I have by DMC number. If I get loads more, then I might have to change it. But for now, it's okay. I have some yellows here. Here we go. So let's let's bob on my yellow with my yellows, of which I don't have many of that one left, but I have some, and I know what DMC number they are. So let's pop AB's back on the shelf. A little bit fuller now, but yeah, that is the logbook updated. So let's pop that away. 
This is my pouch that houses all my other bits that go with doing my logbook. Like my washi tape and my bigger rings. In fact, I'll put that rubber in there and then hopefully I will pick up the nice one rather than the one that smudges a little bit. Okay, logbook is done. Case is done. Who wants to see the painting? Even Hubby commented how much of a sparkly one this one was. So let me get the case out of the way. And it is a big one. It is 80 by 60. And this one is called Contemplation by Anne-Marie Bone or Bon, whichever way it is supposed to be. But isn't that absolutely stunning so that's the bottom and it is amazing how these pops of color and the pops of ab you should see the sparkle especially the part through the trees this sunlight and um, the sparkle in the ab's from it is amazing and it is scattered all the way across these flowers and this sort of lake is full of ABs as well. And yeah, I really enjoyed doing it, even when it came to all this confetti to get the tree look. There wasn't much blockiness in this painting. The most blocky part was probably some of these striped things. Um, but yeah, I do think the, the finished image, the quality of the diamonds was I had no problems, I don't think, with the diamonds. You know, you get the odd trashy one in them all, but they all fit nicely together. The only trouble I had was the canvas. So I will report when my two new ones from Dreamer Designs arrive um, so that you can check it out for yourselves and see what you think. But isn't that gorgeous? It is really, really stunning. You should seriously have a look at Anne-Marie Bone's work. Um, it is licensed by them, but yeah, I just was really, really happy um, with how it turned out and really amazed by, I think, pretty much all of her images that are on Dreamers Designs. I think I would have done all of them, even if there is quite a few with trees. Um, they're all really nice. So stay tuned to see which one I picked um, coming up in an unboxing. Um, and of course, to see what the canvas is like. Um, I do have high hopes from what I've heard. So we shall wait and see. But then another large painting done for now ready uh, i'll kit up another one in the new year but thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you all again soon